Lily, good morning. Good morning. Okay, are we done with unit 28A? Wait for a while. I have to turn. Unit 28A, Lily, are we done? Sorry, Lily, because teacher Anne doesn't have any uh, headset or headphone because I left it in my house. I'm in school right now. So I cannot, okay, I'm just using here. I don't have any paraphernalia for my for my ear. Okay, so did are we done with this? Are we finished? Lily, are we finished, Lily? Unit 28A. Lily, did you hear me? Lily, did you hear me, Lily? Teacher. Yes, did you hear me or not? I can't listen to you. You can't? You can't? Teacher. Lily? Yeah, can you hear me or no? We are finished it. Okay, we are finished with this. Unit 28A, wait for a while. Can you hear me, Lily? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so are we done with this? 28A, are we done? Why me? Okay, please check. Are we done with this or not? Finished? Um, no. Oh, not yet. Okay. So let us have here because the last time we have 28. So now let's move to unit 28A. Please listen. Okay. 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 Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. Look at this photograph. I took it yesterday. It's good, isn't it? It is, yes. It's excellent. But I don't know all the people in it. Oh, don't you? Well, you know Sarah. Look, there she is on the beach. She's making a castle. Is she the girl who's putting the green flag on the top? Yes, that's right. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. So who's the other girl with her? The one who's helping her to make the castle. Yes, that one. It's my best friend, Emma. And look, she's wearing her favourite dinosaur t-shirt. She always wears it on the beach. The weather was nice, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was lovely. But my friend Harry doesn't like the sun very much, so he went into that cave. Is that him? There, near the cave? The boy in the orange shorts? That's right. No, no, sorry, I'm wrong. He's the boy who's inside the cave. It wasn't so hot in there. Those two boys had a good time that day, didn't they? Oh, those two? Yes. They had a kind of competition, a race on the beach. So who won the race? Michael did. The boy in the striped shorts. He's good at all kinds of sports. Do you like the two paintings? Well, the picture of the sky is lovely, but the other one... The one of the octopus is horrible. Oh, I like it. It's interesting. Who's the person painting it? I'm not sure. Is his name Fred? No, I'm sorry. It's his brother, William. They've both got the same curly hair. Helen's brother has just gone to college. 
Look, she's writing a letter to him. Are you sure? I can't see her. There, look. She's sitting on the blanket with her friend. Oh, I see. She's the girl in the yellow T-shirt with black spots. Now listen to part one again. So who's the other girl with her? The one who's helping her to make the castle. Yes, that one. It's my best friend, Emma. And look, she's wearing her favourite dinosaur T-shirt. She always wears it on the beach. The weather was nice, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was lovely. But my friend Harry doesn't like the sun very much, so he went into that cave. Is that him? There, near the cave? The boy in the orange shorts? That's right. No, no, sorry, I'm wrong. He's the boy who's inside the cave. It wasn't so hot in there. Those two boys had a good time that day, didn't they? Oh, those two? Yes. They had a kind of competition, a race on the beach. So who won the race? Michael did, the boy in the striped shorts. He's good at all kinds of sports. Do you like the two paintings? Well, the picture of the sky is lovely, but the other one, the one of the octopus, is horrible. Oh, I like it. It's interesting. Who's the person painting it? I'm not sure. Is his name Fred? No, I'm sorry. It's his brother, William. They've both got the same curly hair. Helen's brother has just gone to college. Look, she's writing a letter to him. Are you sure? I can't see her. There, look. She's sitting on the blanket with her friend. Oh, I see. She's the girl in the yellow T-shirt with black spots. That is the end of part one. Okay. Good morning, Lily. Okay, Lily, can you spot now who are the people mentioned in the audio? Okay, do you have like this? Okay, Lily, can you hear teacher Anne? Okay, Lily? Okay. Okay, please tell me who are the people in the picture. It's a, uh, Emma, Harry, Michael, William, and Helen. Okay, so where is Emma in the picture? Can you please describe Emma? Let us hear. Okay, that's correct. Emma, what is Emma doing in the picture? Emma is the girl with the dinosaur on her t-shirt. Okay, very good. How about Harry? Where is Harry in the picture? Harry is the boy sitting inside the cave. Oh my God, okay. It seems that Harry is quite scared. That is why he's just inside the cave. Oh my God. Next, where is Michael? Uh, Michael is the boy winning the rocks in Kobe's stock. Yes, Michael is the one in the green t-shirt and running so fast. Okay, now where is da -da -da, where is William? Uh, William is by painting a picture of an octopus. Yeah, William is the boy painting a picture of an octopus. Next one, Helen. Where is Helen? Where is Helen? Helen is a girl on the blanket. 
writing a letter. Okay, Helen is the girl sitting on the blanket and then just writing a letter. Okay, very good. So it's very easy to identify this one. Now let's move to the next, which is about, you have to tell me here about the information that you will have to write in this children magazine. Wait for a while. Please now, lesson and write, there is one example. The name, this is children's magazine. The name is Ben Perry. Let us know. Please write your answer for one, two, three, four, five gaps. And please listen. And after your lesson, you write your answer in here. Okay. Go, Lily, listen. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Oh, hello. I work for a children's magazine, and I'm writing something about children and the different times of the year. Would you like to answer some questions for me? Well, yes, if I can. Thank you. Okay. First, can you give me your name, please? Yes, of course. It's Ben. Ben Perry. And that's P-E-R-R-Y. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Right. Thank you, Ben. Now, when's your birthday? I mean, which month? My birthday? Why? It's interesting. People usually like their birthday month. Do they? Well, I don't like mine very much. It's November. Oh, right. Let me write that here. Now, perhaps you can tell me the month you like best. Which is your favourite month? Hmm, I prefer May, I think. Yes, it's lovely then. It's warm and sunny, and we often go swimming. OK, fine. Now, which month is the worst? What about January? Well, I don't like it very much. But the month I hate is February. It's always cold, and it rains a lot, so we can't play outside very often. But in some countries, it's warm and sunny then, you know. Yes, I know. But not here. Now, do you usually have a holiday in the summer, Ben? No, all my friends do. But my dad has to work then, so we have our holiday later in the autumn. Oh, I see. And where do you go? We always go to the same place. It's called Cumbline. Oh. Can you spell that for me, please? Yes, it's C-U-M-B-L-I-N-E. It's a lovely place with lakes and a forest. Well, thank you, Ben. That's all. Answer for number five. Now listen to part two again. Okay, one more, please listen. Right. Thank you, Ben. Now, when's your birthday? I mean, which month? My birthday? Why? It's interesting. People usually like their birthday month. Do they? Well, I don't like mine very much. It's November. Oh, right. Let me write that here. Now, perhaps you can tell me the month you like best. Which is your favourite month? Hmm, I prefer May, I think. Yes, it's lovely then. It's warm and sunny, and we often go swimming. OK, fine. Now, which month is the worst? What about January? Well, I don't like it very much. But the month I hate is February. It's always cold, and it rains a lot, so we can't play outside very often. But in some countries, it's warm and sunny then, you know. Yes, I know. But not here. Now, do you usually have a holiday in the summer, Ben? No, all my friends do. But my dad has to work then, so we have our holiday later in the autumn. Oh, I see. And where do you go? We always go to the same place. It's called Cumbline. Oh.
Can you spell that for me, please? Yes, it's C U M B L I N E. It's a lovely place with lakes and a forest. Well, thank you, Ben. That's all. That is the end of part two. Okay, here in、uh, Lily. So we have here the children's magazine. The name is Ben Perry. The birth month. What is the birth month of Ben? Birth month is what? What is the birth month? Uh, it's a、uh, November. Yeah, it's November. It is November, teacher. Not it is it ah、uh, it is November. Next, the favorite month. Yeah, very good. The favorite month of Ben is. What's the favorite month? It's. Uh, May. May and the worst month. It is February and the holiday time. What's the holiday time, Lily? The holiday time. Uh, autumn. No. Uh, autumn. It's autumn. Now the holiday place. It's come blind. That's the holiday place. Yeah, I do. Yeah, come blind. Okay, it's a holiday place. It's a place maybe somewhere in Europe. It's come blind. Okay, next one. Okay, now let us have here. You listen and write a letter in each box. There is one example. This is about Robert and his friends are learning to be good photographer. Which photo did each person take? Okay, let us see here. Which photo did each person? Okay. Okay. So we have here in the left side, we have here the storm, the space, the butterfly, the camels, the airport, and the pizza. So these are the different, or these are the person who take the photo here for a while. Okay. So again, Robert and his friends are learning to be good photographer. Which photo did each person take? Okay. So we have here. These are the friends of Robert, and these are the Photo that they are taking, or they take photograph for these photos. Okay, so please listen now. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Robert and some of his friends are learning to be good photographers. Which photo did each person take? Would you like to look at these photos? My friends and I took them. We all go to the same evening class. Oh yes, please. Wow, I like that one. Yes, the picture of the sea in a storm is excellent, isn't it? Peter took it. He's an actor, but he loves sailing too. He knows a lot about different kinds of weather. Yes, I love that one too. Can you see the letter A? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. There's a businessman in my class too. I don't know his name, but he takes some very strange photos. This is one of his. Look. Oh yes, it is、um, different. Yes, it's just a plate of pizza and some salad. It's not very interesting, is it? No, but I still like it. The best photographer in the class is Kim. She's a tennis player now, but she wants to work for a newspaper in the future. She took this picture of some camels by a pyramid. It's lovely, isn't it? Yes. When did she take it? When she was on holiday. This photo of the butterflies on flowers is Jane's. Do you like it? Hmm. I think I do. She studied medicine at university, and she's a doctor now. Her pictures are always about the environment. She took this one in her garden last year. And what about this one? Oh, that's good too. 
I like it a lot. Katie's a policewoman, and she took this picture when she was working at the airport one day. You can see the pilot, too. Look, he's walking to the plane. Oh, yes. Is this the last one? Yes, it's Bill's. He's a car mechanic. His favourite hobby is space. You know, studying the moon and stars. Well, you can guess that this is his picture, can't you? Now listen to part three again. There's a businessman in my class, too. I don't know his name, but he takes some very strange photos. This is one of his. Look. Oh, yes. It is, um, different. Yes. It's just a plate of pizza and some salad. It's not very interesting, is it? No. But I still like it. The best photographer in the class is Kim. She's a tennis player now, but she wants to work for a newspaper in the future. She took this picture of some camels by a pyramid. It's lovely, isn't it? Yes. When did she take it? When she was on holiday. This photo of the butterflies on flowers is Jane's. Do you like it? Hmm. I think I do. She studied medicine at university, and she's a doctor now. Her pictures are always about the environment. She took this one in her garden last year. And what about this one? Oh, that's good, too. I like it a lot. Katie's a policewoman, and she took this picture when she was working at the airport one day. You can see the pilot, too. Look, he's walking to the plane. Oh, yes. Is this the last one? Yes, it's Bill's. He's a car mechanic. His favourite hobby is space. You know, studying the moon and stars. Well... You can guess that this is his picture, can't you? That is the end of part three. Après les liés. Okay, I'm picture. Okay, so number one. Okay, so what is the answer for space? Okay, who is the one take the photo of the space? Your answer is letter C, the mechanic. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, wait here. Okay, for a while, for a while, Lily, just a I minute. Mean, Okay, so we have here. So we have butterflies, it's letter F. Okay, letter F, please. Okay, F. Camels, letter D. Airport, letter H, it's this, the policewoman. And the pizza, it's letter E, it's the businessman. Okay, so the last one is the space. The one who took the picture of the space is the mechanic, this one. This is the space. The butterfly is taken by the doctor. And the camels is taken by the player, the badminton player. And the airport is the policewoman, and pizza is the businessman. Okay, so now let's move to the next. Okay, please, lesson. How did David go to town? 
what did he eat and what did what card did he choose part four listen and look there is one example how did david go to town did you go shopping in town yesterday david yes we did but we couldn't take the car oh no you've got a problem with it haven't you so did you go by bus no we took a taxi it was much quicker can you see the tick now you listen and tick the box one which bowl did david buy it's my grandmother's birthday next week she's going to be 60. have you found a nice present for her yes i have i bought her a fruit bowl lovely is it made of glass no I looked for a silver one, but they were too expensive, so I got this one. Look, it's made of wood. Oh, it's very nice. She'll love that. Two. Which card will David choose? And I bought some cards. Which one shall I send to Grandmother for her birthday, Aunt Sue? The one with the snowman. Hmm. I'm not sure. Not for a birthday. I like these two cards with rivers on them. One's got a bridge on it, but I prefer the other one, the one with the boats. Yes, I agree with you. Okay, so here. This is the example, how did David go to town? Okay, it's letter A. So look at number one here for number one. Which ball did David buy? What is your answer for this one? It is, which ball did David buy? It's letter, your answer is letter C. But the correct answer, Lily, it's letter B. Which card will David choose? Which card? It is, which card? It is, What's your answer for this number two? What's your answer for number two? It's a letter C. Letter C. Okay, very good. Okay. Letter C, teacher Anne. Okay. Four, five, six. So the card, the one here with the snow, there's a snowman. Okay. It's actually the letter B here near a bridge. But the answer, you pick letter C. But the answer is letter A, the one with two sailboats. Okay, this is the card that we choose. Okay, next, number three. Three, where did David lose his umbrella? What's the matter, David? Is something wrong? Yes, I've lost my umbrella. I took it with me yesterday when we went shopping. Perhaps it's in the restaurant. You had lunch there with your mum, didn't you? No, it's not there, I'm sure. But we went to the station to buy some tickets. Let's telephone and ask. Oh no, now I remember. It's in the bookshop. I put it down when I was looking at a book, and then I went outside without it. Four. Which are David's favourite biscuits? Did you buy anything else? Yes, a box of my favourite biscuits. Can you remember my favourite ones? Hmm, I forget. Have they got jam in them? Well, I like them too. But no, these chocolate ones are my favourites. Not coconut ones? Oh no, they're horrible. Five, what time are they going to have dinner? Are you going to stay and have dinner with us, Aunt Sue? Yes, I am, but I must leave before eight o'clock. Okay, would you like to eat at half past six then? Oh, that's too early for all of you, isn't it? Perhaps seven o'clock is better. Yes, it is. 
We can watch the new animal programme on TV before dinner. Lily, what's your answer for number one and number three? Okay, number three. Where did David lost his umbrella? Letter C, it's in the market. Okay, it's in some kind of a shop. Number four, which are David's favorite biscuits? Your answer is letter. What is in letter B? Lily, what is in letter B? It is a, what is this? Uh, chocolate. A chocolate and what's this? Is it uh, a cookie? Biscuit. Yeah, it's a biscuit and a chocolate. Now, what time are they going to have dinner? What time are they going to have dinner? I, I seven. Okay, seven, yes. It's seven, very good, yeah, hey. So, it's okay now, did you understand this? Very easy, right? Very easy, Lily? Yes. Okay, so next class we will be having, did I send you another link on, on Wednesday? Did I send you another materials? Okay, PK1127, wait for a while, I will check. Okay, I send, Lily, I send uh, here. Okay, unit 28A. 28B. So we still have unit 28B. I will send another materials to you today or tomorrow, Lily, for Wednesday, okay? So on Wednesday, okay, show me your face now. On Wednesday, teacher Anne will send the materials for you. Okay, that's before Wednesday, of course, okay? Lily, show me your face. Okay, I will see you on Wednesday and we will move unit 28B. Kindly prepare that one, print the materials, print, okay? And I will send you another materials okay. also. Okay, so how, how's your arms? Is it okay? Uh, yes. Okay, let me see. Is it okay now? Is it okay? Oh, is it okay now? Yes. Okay, so don't try to play again. If you think you cannot do it, don't try to do it. Okay? So take care of yourselves because, okay, it's just very, it's only a, uh, what's that? Uh, it's not too, it's not a too, uh, not your, you have an injury, but it's not too uh, harmful or it's not too big. So it would be okay. So, but please next time you have to be careful with that because that's arm. Oh my God, Lily. Good thing it's not in your face. Okay. So how was Daisy now? Is Daisy uh, studying Daisy, Pantado? It's fun. She learned back? No. She learned back? No. Okay. Sure. Okay. So for now, Lily, okay, teacher Anne will say goodbye. I will see you on Wednesday. Unit 28B, please print it on Wednesday, okay? Okay? Okay, bye-bye, Lily. See you on Wednesday. See you.